using a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to go ahead and come on over to these here. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the center and use your trim tool and pop that out. And go ahead and repeat for the other one up here. There's another retainer button right down here. Use your trim tool, pop one in there, and just pop that out. Now, if you have a trunk liner, simply just want to go ahead, slide that out, set that aside. Next, pull your spare tire cover. Go ahead and flip that up and out of the way. Pop your trim right here. And on the bottom right here, there's a little plastic retainer. Just use a trim tool, pop on in there, and just gonna pop that out of place. There you go. Now I wanna go ahead and pull up on our plastic trim here. Go ahead and pull that aside, set that down. Right here, I'm gonna use our trim tool, pop this button right here. Go ahead and pull back our liner here. On the back side of our tail light, we're gonna have three eight millimeter nuts here. Let's go ahead and remove these here. Now there's a fourth nut up on the top here. It's tough to kind of see, but there is actually a notch in the body right here. Those other three were just the easy ones to find. Move that fourth nut there and set that aside. On the inside of our rear wheel well, it's gonna be three Phillips head screws. Let's go ahead and remove these three. On the bottom side of our bumper, we're gonna go ahead and use our trim tool. And there are two buttons here. I'm gonna pop this one here, and then it'll be one right beside it we wanna go ahead and get to. Now some of these buttons might be brittle. If one breaks, you just go down, pick up a couple replacements. Absolutely beautiful. Now at this point here, the head's popped off. We just need to punch these out. Do the same on the other side. Ours are super brittle. I'm gonna go ahead and use a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove this bolt right here. There's one on the other side. Let's go ahead and remove that. Now at this point here, this is perfect for a two person job. You wanna go ahead and grab the edge of your bumper right here and we're gonna go ahead and pull us out and away. Gently tug this out and work our way around. We'll do the same on the driver's side. Once we have both sides separated, you want to reach on the inside here. And there's a little tab right here. I'm going to reach in with our pick, work that out, disconnect your license plate lights. On our taillight, we have a bracket here attaching it to the body as well as the four nuts inside. There's these two 10 millimeters here and there's a Phillips head screw right in the middle here. Now we did spray it down with some rust penetrant. Sometimes it's easier just to remove this Phillips head screw. If you have the ability to do so, go ahead and do that. You can try removing these two 10 millimeters. Sometimes they're so rusted they might snap off. A little bit more of a project to get repaired. We're gonna go ahead and use a long Phillips head screwdriver and try and remove this screw safely. It doesn't seem like it wants to come out. Oh, well, we have one loose. Go ahead and grab our tail light and we're going to pull it straight out on the back side. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull our bulbs out. Now there's a wiring harness right here, there's a little retainer clip. I'm gonna use a pair of needle nose pliers. Just gonna press in on these little lock tabs here. Go ahead and pull that out. We'll get your three bulbs here. You're gonna reach in, twist counterclockwise, pull. Counterclockwise and counterclockwise. Now we're having a hard time trying to loosen this here. I was able to tighten the screw just a tiny bit just to break it free. And now we have the ability to loosen. I gotta apply some heavy pressure inward to go ahead and remove this bracket and then swap it over to our new tail light. I wanna go ahead and line up the two posts here with the holes in our bracket here. Line up the bracket, get that screw started. And go ahead and get that snugged into place. Right, now that we've got our last bulb locked into place, we wanna go ahead and get our harness popped back into the body. Let's go ahead and feed our harness around to the back side. Line up that little clip and snap that in. Let's go ahead and line up the studs on the back of our tail light with the holes in the body. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the plastic pins from our tail light into the body as well on this side. Once everything lines up, we we'll simply push the tail light back and into the body. So we have our bolts here. I did apply a little bit of anti-seize compound on these threads that were there if you ever need to get in there again these bolts should come out a lot easier. I'm gonna spin those in as far as I can by hand. And then we're just gonna go ahead and snug these down. And snug. Don't forget to install your harness for the license plate lights. Snap it into place. I'm gonna go ahead and hang the bumper. It's always good to have someone assisting you with this so they can hold the other side of the bumper. You can line this up over here. And as you come back, you're gonna line up the bumper with the bracket underneath the tail light. Push that up and over, get that into place. Press that into place. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this process right around to the driver's side. Just gently bump that down and into place. Let's go ahead and get our two bolts in right here. There's one there. Just gonna zip that in as far as I can by hand. And repeat for the other side. Once those are in, let's go ahead and snug them down. Now we've got our replacement buttons here. I'm gonna push these up and into place. And go ahead and take our splash guard here. Pop that back it into place. We're just gonna get it started a few threads first. Then we're gonna get our bottom screw installed. With both of them started, we can go ahead, snug those down. And we go ahead and get our last screw installed up top. And snug that. Let's go ahead and install our four eight millimeter nuts. I'm gonna try and go ahead and zip those down as far as I can by hand. With all four of those installed, let's go ahead and snug them down. You just wanna make sure they're snug. You don't have to make these super tight. So once they bottom out, just a hair bit more. Once those are snug, Go ahead and pop your fender liner back up and into place. You can install your buttons here. Push those in. Repeat for this one here. Now we want to go ahead and install our back plastic molding. This should be a series of plastic push tees or push locks on the back side, as well as these little tabs right here facing downward. There's two on each side. So you want to make sure that when we put this in, we are lowering it down to lock this into place. So press those down and then snap in. 
I'm gonna go ahead and push down on the plastic trim, locking everything into place. I'm gonna install your little molding right here. Line that up, press it downward, snap that in. I'm gonna go ahead and take your push button here, line that up, and pop that in. It's a plastic push pin. Line this up, press that down into place. Bring your spare tire cover, go ahead and lower that down into place. Now, if you have a trunk liner like we do, go ahead and get that lined up. Slide that down into place. Close your trunk, and you're all set.